What's up, YouTube? It's Kayon, aka Kayon puts you on, and today we're talking about Lauren Hill being mad disrespectful. So let's get into it. If you like the content, hit me with a like and subscribe and comment what you think about the video. Anyway, let's get into it, man. So, boom. Off rip, all you gonna read is Lauren Hill defense concert tardiness during show. Y'all lucky I make it on the stage. Now, y'all may be wondering, yo, Kay, how'd you find out about this? How do you, how'd you know about this? Uh, is there any clips or anything? Matter of fact, there are, bro. So let, let's check out the clips that I saw initially. So this was the first clip. So in the first minute, she's really praising her mom. It's actually a really wholesome moment. And I'm not going to be biased or nothing here. This was genuinely a wholesome moment. It's beautiful. But let's just, let's just peep what she's talking about. And I'm not messing up the hair because it's luscious right now. Do you understand that? And listen, the amount of sacrifice. The amount of sacrifice. People say, hey, yeah, she's late. She's late a lot. Yo, y'all lucky I make it on this blood raw stage every night. Put my, my heart and my soul on the stage. And I don't do it. I don't do it because they let me do it. I do it because I stand here in the name of God. And I do it. She's saying on business. That's standing on business. God is the one who allows me to do it. Who surrounded me with family and community. When there was no support. When the album sold so many records. And no one showed up and said, hey, would you like to make another one? So I went around the world and I played the same album over and over and over and over and over and over again. Because we're the survivors. And we're not just the survivors, we're the thrivers. And not only, not only do we want to thrive, but we want to see everyone thrive. We want to see everyone live. Now, this is not, I'm not on the Lauren Hill hate train. I'm not, I'm actually on the opposite side of that. I love Lauren Hill. I think what she's done artistically is amazing. I think everything she does in terms of like singing and stuff, amazing, bro. Love Lauren Hill. I actually love Lauren Hill. Would love to meet her someday. But I think this is like a weird controversy because like she's showing up late and normally a regular person would apologize. If I have a meeting with you and I show up late, I'ma apologize. If we going out to get food and I'm late, I'ma apologize. And that even, this is her job, bro. Like people are expecting her to be here. People are paying money. They're standing, they're waiting. And you not gonna apologize, gang? You gonna say, she was just saying how like, y'all should be lucky that I showed up here. That's crazy to me, bro. Like where's the apology at? At least be like, hey, my fault, gangy. I was, I was mad late. I had to go get X, Y, and Z. Or like my plane was delayed or like I slept late. I don't know. So let's say you want to go to a Lauryn Hill concert. All right. This is the Lauryn Hill concert price. First of all, these are no refunds. No refunds. And this is in Oakland, California. So I don't even think it's like a crazy venue. But gang, imagine you pay, imagine you pay $269. And Shorty performs and Lauryn Hill performs for... Half her set time, bro. Imagine you pay two sixty nine. Imagine worse, you get this boo boo stage right here, and you pay one twenty nine on this boo boo side, bro. You pay one twenty nine, and she's two like an hour and a half late, something like that. Like, bro. And I don't actually know how late she even was. Like, to be honest, she might not have been stupid late. Okay, I actually don't know if anybody knows how late she actually was. So I'm not going to sit here and say that she's the worst person ever. There's some artists that don't ever even show up or cancel. <laughs> Frank Ocean. She showed up. She still performed. And I've been seeing a lot of people will critique her performance because she can't perform her actual song. And I'll try to put a clip in here if I can. But yeah, Lauren Hill can't actually perform her own songs, I guess. And that's due to the part because it's like heavily copyrighted because she was a lot of uncleared samples and stuff. And she got sued to hell. And... I'm not even going to critique that because I think that's like a mute point. I think artistically she probably can't do exactly what she wants to do because of copyright stuff. And then I saw one video. I saw one TikTok video. I'm going to pull this up because this dude was going in for like two minutes about Lauren Hill, bro. Just watch it. I don't even know how much of this is true, but this is what really got me like wanting to make a video about it. Bro, it is very disheartening to see the black community like all have a collective realization that Lauren Hill is a bad person every two years. 
But yeah, Lauren Hill is not a good person. This is the same woman who did not credit or pay any of the people who worked on Miseducation of Lauren Hill. This is the same woman who had an affair with Wyclef. This is the same woman who married and had children with a cult leader. The children would grow up to say, yeah, my mom was abusive and uncaring towards us. And y'all mocked them and called them spoiled and said that they were lying about their own. I don't like when creators be saying, y'all. I ain't never say nothing about Lauren Hill's kids. I don't like that, bro. Don't say y'all. Say some people. Not me. I ain't say nothing. In this video, he kind of goes crazy on Lauren Hill saying that she abused her kids and X, Y, and Z and she messed up. But what I'm starting to read is these comments, bro. Do y'all see these comments? You're wrong about Drake. You lost me at the homophobia article. What? Damn. What do you say about Drake? Wait, let's keep watching. Hold on. I'm tweaking because I, I wanted to read these comments about Drake being a bisexual. And I don't even know the full context. Hold on, let me, let's lock in. We're locking in. Their own lived experiences. This is, the, I'm, this is the same lady who shows up late to concerts and tells y'all, y'all are lucky that I make it on the stage. This is the same lady who, for the past 15 or so years, has been showing up two, three hours late to concerts, sometimes not showing up at all. This is the same lady who can't even perform her songs because she got sued so much that she doesn't own the rights to any of those songs. Lauren Hill's not a good person. Uh, and I'm not saying that to- Also, saying she a bad person because she can't perform her songs because she got sued to hell is a crazy take, bro. He's tweaking on that. He, he was smoking some ganja when he said that point. I think he just wanted to add something in there. But let, let's keep let's keep hearing him because I want to know about Drake's bisexuality. Like, dunk on her and, like, make y'all feel stupid. I'm just being real. Like, she's not a good person. In the black community, we have this rule that if people are talented enough, they can slip through the cracks and get away with whatever the fuck they want to get away with. Y'all literally watched R. Kelly pee on a 14-year-old girl, and y'all let that nigga keep making music up until fucking 2019. Again, I don't like that he's saying, y'all, I ain't watched no video of R. Kelly peeing on a 14-year-old girl. Let that be known. I ain't, I ain't never do that, gang. Let that, let that be, let the record show. I ain't never seen that. Have y'all? Okay, because I don't know what he's talking about. Just, I want him to stop saying, y'all, I don't want to be included in whatever mess he's talking about. I don't want to be, nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> and y'all let that nigga keep making music up until fucking 2019. Chris Brown has a history of domestic violence and colorism and other problematic behaviors. Also homophobia. No one calls him out on it because he's Chris Brown. Drake. Drake has a problem with blatant misogyny. It's almost to the point where it's like fucking comical that this nigga is like an evil villain and no one calls him out because he's Drake. Like... The, the black community has a problem with letting niggas be deemed talented just run amok. And, like, I don't think we can do that anymore, bruh. Bro. Bro Alright, I do want to say, comparing Lauryn Hill to R. Kelly is crazy. Alright, we can, we can admit that, right? Like, we can, we can stand on that. Like, that is a, that's crazy. I got a, I have a line. Okay, I have a line. Dre being misogynistic, like, having misogynistic characteristics, for sure, that's a problem. R. Kelly peeing on somebody, that's different to me <laughs> that's different i thought he was gonna say drake and millie bobby brown or something because that's like a take that a lot of people say but i'm not gonna hold the stance of lauren hill is comparable to r kelly that is crazy and i think he would he was a little heated you know what i'm saying but i understand his point and yeah i think like black people we can let things slide i know people in the comments gonna be like hi oh, you not even black blah, blah. i'm light-skinned i just got this bright camera on me all right, learn about light and shadows and things like that. I'm light-skinned for real. You just can't see it. Cause I, look at this. Look at this. Just so y'all understand. It's different around here. It's real light-skinned hours. But I'm playing, bro. Let that go. Anyway, I got off topic. I think as, as black people, that can happen sometimes. I think that as a collective, we be tweaking occasionally with celebrities. Like, we latch on to some, like popular artists just because they're popular but i think that's not just a black thing bro i think that's everybody bro if you even look at like big celebrities like big white celebrities like harvey weinstein and the white community was worse than r kelly and white people were letting that slide hollywood was letting that slide you want to know why because he has money and fame it's not a race thing it's a power thing bro and i think we got to realize that like it's a power thing it can be a race thing like, I think black people will probably latch on to black celebrities or black people in power because they identify with that individual because of their race. But what makes them let things slide or pass by is not the race. It's the money and power, bro. I know a lot of black people, if they did something crazy, I'm not going to let it slide because they're black or vice versa. Like, 
we got to hold each other accountable. And I think that's just not, that's further than a race thing. I think that's a power thing, bro. That's like a dynamic like that. Like, you're going to let it slide if you think somebody holds power over you or, like, it's going to kill an opportunity for you. Like, a lot of people do that. Happens day to day. When you get in the real world, bro, and you start seeing it, you're like, whoa. You're like, like, it's crazy, bro. And it doesn't even surprise me now because power dynamics are huge. And... A lot of y'all gonna be like, what are you talking about? Just think about the power dynamics between like men, men and women. Okay, think about that. Now think about a man who's rich and powerful. Bro, you'd probably let him slap you if it meant that he was gonna give you $100,000. That's because that's what that money can do to you, bro. And a lot of people gotta realize that. And Lauren Hill is the same way because she's so famous and like powerful, I think artistically and kind of how she sings, that she can get away with being late all the time. We gotta, we gotta hold each other accountable. We gotta hold artists accountable. What Frank Ocean did back back at Coachella, not showing up to performance, crazy, bro. He got to be held accountable. Lauren Hill being super late, got to be held accountable. Um, these are people, so I don't think that we should be crazy. Like we shouldn't be going wild because they didn't. They showed up late, or maybe they had to cancel. There are people too. They have lives too. There's a lot happening. Take that into account. But that doesn't mean that you get to be rude to your fans and be like, y'all are lucky that I'm making it on stage. We just gave you money. Like, we expect you to be on stage. And I just think that's a crazy narrative that she was pushing. And I hope she hit, sees this clap back that people have really given her and kind of starts showing up on time. But I doubt it. It's Lauren Hill. She made Miss Education. She can do whatever she wants. It's power dynamics. Anyway, that was the main point of the video. I kind of just wanted to talk about my feelings about Lauren Hill being late all the time. And we got into a racial divide. Remember, I'm light-skinned. So when I talk about the black community and we, I'm talking about me Cause I'm black. A lot of people be saying I'm not black. They be really getting to me, you know what I'm saying? But I'm playing. I, I don't really care. Cause I wake up and I'm black. Y'all comments don't make me white. This light make me a little bit white though. This light does make me white. But as always, if y'all like the content, and me would like and subscribe. Check out my other platforms. I love you guys and appreciate you guys so much, bro. I hope y'all have a great day, a blessed day. Be safe. Be smooth.